All right. I've been looking up recipes for a couple of years and saved them on a YouTube playlist and recipes. And when I finally got down here and settled and, and the restaurant was ready to be open, I was going to start experimenting with them. And I officially have because we're opening soon. So this was my first attempt at a little single serving of bread for myself. Uh, I have more for tomorrow and I'm actually going to tweak it a little bit, but it came out pretty good, you know? Looking good, looking good. It's a little hot. I literally just took it out of the oven. I didn't score it because I wanted to see what it would do um, without scoring it. It didn't rise enough, so I didn't have it waiting enough before I threw it in the oven. I was super excited just to get going. So I know how I'm going to tweak my process. Follow along, guys. I'm going to continue to perfect breads. I'm going to be doing breads from all over the planet, all different types of breads. And then probably at some point, you know, as I'm harvesting a lot of fruits and vegetables and herbs and stuff from here, I'm going to be incorporating them into these breads. Once I come up with a really good formula or many, many good formulas, I'm going to teach whoever's working in the restaurant, whether it's Carlos or somebody else, to make these breads. And we're going to start selling them and retailing them here as well. So coming soon, Breads of the Jungle Temple. I'm going to try not to burn my hand. Ooh, woo! Okay, so I'll admit when I cut it open, it was a bit moist, and I will say this is why. When I put it in the oven, I did not have parchment paper, so I used aluminum foil, which is not the best idea, but so it wouldn't stick. I did a layer of, just, you know, a thin layer of olive oil, like extra virgin olive oil, and I believe the bread soaked up the olive oil from the bottom while it was cooking, so it still looks like really good bread. But it's a bit moist looking. And I think it's because it soaked up that olive oil while cooking. And I'm also dipping it in more, can you see, olive oil here with some pepper. We got my puppy sleeping next to me. But it's very good. It tastes very good. I'm very satisfied with it. I'm still gonna tweak it and experiment a little bit, but if you guys ever see the olive oil bread in our menu at the Jungle Temple, <laughs> this is why, because this is a good formula and I might stick with it and just add other variations. And Anyway, it's really good. I'm going to get back to eating more of it because it really is fantastic. So stay tuned for more recipes from the Jungle Temple.